I have a study to share with Father Larry. I don't think he knows about it, so I'm constantly trying to enhance his IQ. That's too high. You can't do much for that. They anyway. asked a whole bunch of folks okay. in all settings in life yes. about their peak physical satisfaction okay. with a partner. Who Married was? people? Or anybody? All the way across oh, the board. Okay, okay. What group expressed the most joy, the most satisfaction? Catholics? Committed marrieds. Oh, committed marrieds. Committed marriage. Wow. Marriage sure, for the I first time. That. Absolutely. But that goes against what the culture says. The Absolutely. culture says you're freewheeling <laughs> at age 24. Exactly. You should just be. And it's all about the physical intimacy yes. only. Absolutely. And isn't that the lie from the evil one from the very beginning? That the greatest intimacy is spiritual intimacy that's carried out physically. Like again, in marriage counseling and that throughout the years, I'm always saying, first of all, isn't it amazing? You can have the great sexual life and again I'm an old celibate I don't know about this except for talking to people a great sexual life but still be lonely you could have the great sexual act and then when you're done you're still lonely why because you did not express your intimacy with your spouse I always tell people again if you listen to my truth CD or any of my stuff I sit there and say you want great great intimacy with your spouse the best uh, in sexual intimacy you could ever have and they go, yeah, Father, what can we do? I say, I want you to pray with each other. And one guy looked at me once and says, Father, don't you think that'll kill the moment? And I said, if you think that'll kill the moment, uh, you don't know what sex is and you don't know what prayer is. Because if you want the best physical intimacy before you enter into physical intimacy, you pray with each other. And I said, just try it. You know, what are you going to lose? You know, and f most people have never prayed with each other, first of all. But when they do do it, I've got emails and says, Father, that was the most intimate I've ever been with my spouse. Why? Because the physical intimacy is supposed to be an external manifestation of an internal spiritual intimacy. But most people never have that spiritual intimacy. So when they express it and they manifest it physically, it's just an act. If you're going to have that, you can really only have it with your spouse. Of course, exactly, because you're inviting God into you're the very you're not wired act. any other way. No, exactly. But, and God is the one who pulled us together. You know, again, even when we talk about sex, who was the first one to talk about sex? It was God. The very first commandment out of God's mouth was Be increase and, and multiply. multiply. So he told us to have sex, and he told us why we should have it. And with whom? Exactly, with this person. Again, he said it he to says, the animals too, well, but when he, he says, says this Adam is the best way to do it. This is how I designed sure. it. And the culture says, flesh of my oh, no. flesh, bone we, of my we bone. We know a better way. The culture exactly. says, we know a better way. So the shrinks come along and survey people and say, okay, for those of you who know the better way, tell us. And yes. they go, it's not the better way. Exactly. Why do they keep doing it? Isn't it amazing that everybody talks about this going and having it their way and then people aren't even happier in any way shape or form i used to be chaplain out of penn state baron and i would go about there at night and there's these people you know they're college kids they're having sex with everybody doing all this stuff and i would i went through walking the halls once and i passed over 100 kids and not one had a smile on their face i thought isn't that something young people young people because when you sit there and you say i'm going to live it to do everything i want that should make you happy then right and it doesn't and that's just, and anyone that's listening, you know that's true. When you do it your way, you might be happy for a moment or for the intensity of the act, but then you're empty immediately afterwards. My son's 23, and he says, you know, Dad, so many of my friends and people that I talk to, for them, all they seek is a string of moments of exactly. quick happiness. Exactly. No lasting. Marriage do it with the one God has created for you. You will be happy, not only now, but forever. If God says do it this way and not that way, and I say, well, gee, that doesn't seem to make sense to me. It's called sin. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's doing it? it my way instead of God's way. We're only happy when we do it the way who created us, the way he created us. When we do it his way, then we are happy and have peace. And some people find that out somehow and they're surprised. Mm -hmm. I think the, the issue today is a God issue that expresses itself in marriage and all everything else in our society. God has to be brought back to where he needs to be and everything else will fall into place. There you have it.
Good summary. Good summary.